Tiana, what the frack is on your head? And what are these changes around here? Ugh. Just give it a second, I'll explain everything right now. So this thing on my head, if you watch the new Rick and Morty, then you know who she is. And that's who this is about to become. I've never done this look. If I'm, I might be a bad Rick and Morty fan, but I don't remember her in Tyler's episode. So like, wow. Did I sound like summer to anyone else? Because I sounded like summer to me. Back to business. I'm about to be changed and also changes with this channel. I guess I'm gonna start censoring myself to get that, to try to get that cash money henny, that YouTube mini henny, that YouTube coins. We'll see what's going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too unfiltered to even try. So, this is gonna be your first voiceover. <laughs> um, and not like a total speed paint. I've actually like laid my colors out. In fact, here are your products. I'm using a mix of Ben Nye and Wolf. These are both Wolf. Um, ben Nye White. I ended up scraping up the butt end of the white out to make a thing for my purple, which reuse your containers, kids. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right, let's go. Okay, so for today's look, you will start by covering your brows, however which way you choose. I do a layer of glue, then a layer of baby powder, and then I continue that up until my brows are covered. And then you're going to want to draw your alien eye. And then cover your entire face in purple. Once you do that, you'll wipe away the excess around the bottom of your chin, and then start to cover your neck in white, obviously following a picture for reference. Okay, now if you're a sensible human, you're like, whoa, Deanna, what's on your face? I didn't want to do a voiceover th for this part because it's just too much to record later. So I painted my face and tried to even out the purple as much as possible and also lighten it a little bit so I can do her upper eye contour. Now, I also made her headpiece, which is, uh, it's so hard to show you guys, but it's paper. It is, this is all paper, which is why it looks really flimsy. It's paper and tape, and I have, I have a um, paintbrush end that I broke to support the top. Um, and tape, obviously, in the little circle to make her inner circle float. It is liquid latex right here and here to hide most of the fake hairline, which is why I painted my hair purple. Also, like, her face goes up because she's more alien-y. So this gives you the shape of her face, as well as that's why there's that little bit of purple that worked out perfectly. And then we go into her white neck and her galaxy body, so let's go. Okay, so while you were away, or more so while I was away, I lightened up the purple with some pink so you can now see the dark that is above her eyes uh, as a purple. 
and it looks way less blotchy you now. So let's start on the neck. Alright, so like, no one is surprised, however, my camera died. It's sitting right there, I'm in my full setup, I just finished her pointy neck piece, and I guess we're, amen, I guess we're gonna finish, um, painting her body, galaxy body. My brows are looking oatmeal-y, um, but, you know, she's nearly a completed look, so let's finish this stuff because it's getting old. See, this is the color her face was supposed to be, but I just did it too dark and in too many layers, so now my body is the opposite of what the character is. Great. I love when that happens. Sarcasm, kids. It's sarcasm. Jenna, why are you still using a brush instead of, like, I don't know, the sponge like you did for the small white part in the center of your chest? Well, young viewer, who probably is my age, and you didn't ask this, but I asked me this, um, you know, I don't even know. I don't have an excuse. I'll be back when it's done. Alright y'all, well this is her and all her intergalactic, hello hair, universal glory. I hope you all enjoy this look. See it on my Instagram here. Please do all the lovely YouTube things you do, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!